Okay, uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the TMRG panel. Um, my name is Anthony. I am based in London, working the sales team at GitLab, and I'll be moderating this conversation with okay. you. So why don't we start with some introductions? We can start off just introducing the panel. Natalia, would you like to go first? Sure. My name is Natalia, and I live in Kyiv, Ukraine, and I work as a staff front-end engineer for Create Knowledge team at GitLab. Cool. Uh, Liam? So I'm Liam. Um, I am, well, I've been here for one year, nine months. Um, majority of the time I've been in the recruiting team, but recently transitioned over to a new role within the people group. I'm based in Sydney. Very nice. Um, Sophia? I am a um, software engineer in test, group. currently working for the monitor stage. I'm based in Sydney. And I am based in Vilnius, Lithuania. Very nice. Um, Sophia? Peter? Oh, I don't think we can hear you, Peter. And not quite. We'll let, we'll let Peter sort of um, get his mark and we'll get, come back for an introduction there. Um, why don't we kick off with the first question? So um, I guess, yeah, sort of, you know, given an overview, so how has your experience at GitLab been different than, you know, your experience at other companies? And I guess we can kick off with Sophia um, with that one. Hi, Sophia. Did you, hi, Sophia, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I okay. think there was just a lot of echo uh, in maybe a different tab somewhere. No worries. So how has your experience at GitLab been different than your experience at other companies? Um, I believe that um, GitLab has a way of living up to the values, uh, which I have not had the ability to see in my in my professional experience so far in the sense that um, GitLab truly lives up to it. Uh, it's a truly open and transparent company. Uh, management does also uphold these values. And uh, the fact that our very clear communication guidelines uh, creates a very safe and open collaboration environment between uh, our colleagues, so. Love it. And the same for you, Natalia, sort of from your perspective, how, how is it sort of different from your previous company? So two things that were different here uh, that impressed me the most was flexibility and transparency. By flexibility, I mean how flexible we are in terms of working hours, working days, vacations, parental leave. I'm a working mom, and for me, it's essential to plan my day in a way I can spend time with my kids and which might be totally inappropriate if we had more rigid business hours, right? I'm also a conference speaker, and I love the freedom GitLab gives me to take a day off when I need to schedule my talks. I never had this benefit before in any previous company. Uh, speaking about transparency, this feature is truly impressive not only for me, but for anyone who asks me about my work. What processes do you have? What benefits do we offer? What is the compensation level? I can say, Oh, it's on our handbook. And I want to add this this value in our documentation first approach, truly inspire people and companies to follow our values even outside GitLab. Yeah, I love that. So definitely like really aligning with the values of the company, those those examples there. Um, and Liam and then Pete, uh, but yeah, Liam, we could great to hear from your perspective as well. Sure, I think um, echoing what Sophia said, um, I think we're a values and driven organization. Um, and a lot of other companies that I've worked in, it's been very much about appearance of values and externally facing. But I think with GitLab, it's very much um, an internal um, mantra that we have um, to, to follow through on our values. And you see it every day at work. So we help others realize um, values in conversations, in MRs and issues. And we have people not afraid to speak up on that as well. Um, but I also think that we do remote working correctly. Um, I've worked remotely in the past, but I've never felt a real sense of belonging 
as mm. part of a bigger business. Um, so I really do feel as much of the company as anybody else, regardless of my location. And I think that's been really important. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely, I would say, agree that GitLab is like a pioneer in, in remote working for sure, uh, sort of leading best practice on that. Um, and I guess, yeah, for Pete, same question to you. So sort of how's your experience at GitLab been different than experience at other companies? Sure, just double checking that you can hear me now. Yeah, loud and clear. Great. Great. So I'll just do an introduction as well. So I'm Peter Quinn, based in Sydney, Australia, and I'm responsible for field marketing in the APJ region. Um, so my the, the biggest difference for me um, is definitely our company culture, which may sound odd to people because we don't physically sit next to a team member, but there's definitely a strong, a strong sense of uh, belonging and a supportive uh, company environment. We may We might not have any offices and we might be alone when we're working, but we're all alone together. Uh, we all had a day one, so we all know how it feels. Also, it's 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 been mentioned a few times now, but our, our company values our building blocks. Um, we all live them. We all know that every decision that is made within GitLab is based on um, a values first approach. Mm -hmm. And as an example of that, um, transparency is one of our core values. I had someone today um, send me a message on LinkedIn because they had found one of my field marketing issues um, just mm -hmm. online. Um, and he sent me a message and said, "Hey, just checking. Um, is this meant to be public?" Um, and my response, my response was, um, "Yes, GitLab is a transparent company, and um, everything we do is public by default." Love that. That's powerful. Like the 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 shock or the surprise for people outside GitLab is so yeah, sort of not normal. So that's powerful. I love that example. Um, so so I guess moving on to the sort of the next you know, topic. So what sort of ways do you feel like GitLab has made you feel accepted and supported at the company? Um, Natalia, you, maybe you can kick us off. Sure. It's just amazing how company cares about our mental health. It's not just words like we are caring. We have mindfulness calls, for example. And uh, when I got the first symptoms of burnout, and it's a big deal in our industry, right? I felt safe to share this with my manager. I was strongly recommended to take time off to recover. Mm -hmm. And I would also like to mention our family and friends days, when every employee in the company takes a day off to spend time with your beloved ones. This is especially valuable right now when we have a lockdown. Yeah, no, I love that. I love that. Um, and so what would you say, I guess, moving on to uh, Sophia, if you could chime in on that as well. Sure. I'm... I also believe that the fact that we are able to work remotely and truly asynchronous um, enabled me to be, I'm originally from uh, another country, so I'm originally from Portugal, living in Lithuania, where my partner is from, um, it allows me to actually learn uh, the culture mm -hmm. uh, here and being able to go back and see my family as often as possible. And the fact that uh, this is possible to integrate with my work just just makes me bring my best self to GitLab every day and and truly appreciate uh, the opportunity to be able to reconcile uh, yeah. both both worlds. Yeah. Yeah, and that's a big factor, I guess, when people choosing where to work as well, having to make that decision either or. So having that freedom is powerful. Um, Liam, if we finish off with you on that one. Yeah, 100% agree with everything that's been said, being a expat myself in, in Sydney. Um, but I also think that the ability to have really candid conversations um, and feel heard um, and that actions are put in place to, to remove some of those blockers and stresses that you potentially have at work. And I've had a few managers here at GitLab and I always really feel the servant leadership side and I really feel that it's well established here. Um, mm. And I feel that managers truly have a sort of empathetic ear and provide layers of support when needed and when necessary as well. Um, and I haven't had that in, in previous organizations. Yeah. Yeah, definitely the e-group and leadership management are very accountable for trying to live up to the values. Um, and I, I guess on that same, you know, how does having a TMRG group sort of help you feel connected to that GitLab? What role does that play in terms of your experience at the company? Um, Sophia, maybe you can start. Um, I think that uh, also living in a country right now where um, the laws for LGBTQ plus are not are not so advanced, for example, for same sex marriage or or even having a civil partnership, the fact that um, the environment is not probably the, the 
the best one for me to thrive in and to live out in the open. This this does not happen in GitLab, right? So uh, the fact that it's a company that highly respects uh, the diversity um, is is making me feel accepted and belonged and, and therefore bringing my myself to work. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. There's loads of different groups that people can sort of get involved in. Liam, and I know you're quite you know, involved in groups. What's your perspective on this? Yeah, I, for me, it just provides um, a place at work that allows me to represent myself um, and have other people who have similar or the same lived experience that I have and um, to act as a sounding board for things that I'm experienced both externally and internally. Um, and it's also a place to be heard and and develop actions and to provide some equity for those who are part of the group, again, externally and internally. Um, some people, as Sophia mentioned, may not be able to live this out in their in their um, personal lives, but there is a, definitely a place um, for everyone at GitLab, um, which for me, it's been really, really, truly beneficial. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Like, it's actually encouraged. Um, and it, it, yeah, I, I completely agree with you. Um, it, it provides a better experience, a better environment for working. Um, Pete, how, how about you? So for me, the resource groups um, are, are a platform that allows us to voice our concerns and be heard, but it also allows us to listen to other teammates and you know, or team members and what they're experiencing around the world. Um, it's To me, it's a real privilege uh, to have team members share their experiences, share their stories um, with me in a, in a safe environment. And together, that's how we build trust and build a connection between team members. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I guess sort of maybe coming up to the, towards the end and wrapping up. So, the, you know, how does the, the TR, TMRG specifically work at GitLab? You know, what kind of things are actually helping you feel like you belong at GitLab? Um, Sophia? Um, we have actually two two channels, one one public channel and one private channel um, in Slack, where we can voice more sensitive issues. And, and this um, enables us to really have private sharing. And, and, and since the, the, the team is so uh, diverse and so uh, all over the world, there are different contexts about um, the LGBTQ issues around the world. And, and the fact that we can discuss them with our own experience and context is is a, it's very valuable yeah and and liam would you would you second that what what are your thoughts 100 percent. i think it's allowed me to grow even more conscious of the differences even when you're a part of a community um so sometimes you need to be an ally even in a group that you've identified with um and it's been able to help me gain new allies and new relations with people who um, probably I would never have had out if I didn't work at GitLab as well um, and have the different contexts um, globally um, for different matters and different things. Um, so it's really allowed me to have that um, kind of lens to, to the wider, wider communities that I'm a part of. Mm. Yeah. Pete, sort of finishing off with you on that, do you, do you have anything in addition to kind of comment on sort of specifically how the TMRG group or groups that you might be a part of help you feel like you connect to that GitLab? Yeah, so so often I'm on um, team member resource group calls where I find myself not contributing to the conversation uh, because of my lack of, lack of knowledge or experience on the matter. Um, one could easily feel that they don't belong in that situation, but in fact, it gives me or it makes me feel even um, a stronger sense of belonging because I'm, I'm there, I'm listening, I'm learning, and I'm able to take away that knowledge um, and share it with the community that I'm in or the, the region that I in which I live um, and to spread the word and, and communicate those messages out. So there is still that belonging um, factor to it. Yeah. That's true, and that's, sometimes it is, you know, like you said, it's just about joining the call or joining just to listen and learn. Um, and that's also given the opportunity and transparency, being able to do that is, is a unique as well, um, working here. I guess finally, sort of, you know, what, you know, obviously we've spoken about some really positive things, what areas would you say uh, there's still room for improvement at GitLab when talking about sort of, yeah, TMRB and, and diversity? Uh, Natalia, let's start with you. Yeah, I would uh, definitely like to see more diversity in staff plus roles in engineer. And to give a quick background for those who are outside GitLab. If you're an engineer at GitLab, you have two different paths in terms of your career growing. You can go to management, 
which is more like classical way becoming a manager, director, and so on. But you also have an individual contributor path, where after senior we have staffs, then we have distinguished and engineering fellows. And while we have certain goals for leadership in terms of diversity, we still don't have these goals in the senior engineering individual contributor path. And it would be really nice to see some initiatives in this area. Mm. Yeah. And Sophia, what are your thoughts on that, areas for improvement? Um, I think GitLab in a, is on a, in a very good path because the fact that actually uh, there is time allocated to do uh, diversity, inclusion and belonging initiatives, um, it's, it's, uh, it's very important that this is being prioritized by the company. Although I think that it's also important to consider the intersectionality of these uh, groups and where we can actually join and uh, and and speak stronger instead of perhaps dividing certain certain groups. Um, so perhaps having a conversation is is necessary between the groups more often. Yeah, and and sort of finishing off here uh, with Liam, you know, what what are your thoughts on improvement? For sure. Um, I think representation is key. Um, and I think being more purposeful on the hires that we make, um, particularly inside leadership. Um, I think often companies get bogged down in big names and previous experience at big companies and big organizations where historically um, system and systematically underrepresented under groups haven't had the opportunity to work at those big organizations, particularly inside leadership. So if we don't help break that glass ceiling um, and provide those opportunities, we may become part of the issue. So having more conversations around how we can attract um, more people from underrepresented groups um, into leadership positions, particularly, um, I think would be would be a, a great next step. Yeah, it seems to be a theme, I guess, across all, you know, all the sort of thoughts around sort of leadership and being more, I guess, intentional and in sort of yeah, management and leadership position. So interesting. We have a few minutes left just before the end. I don't see any questions in the Google Docs. I'm wondering if Pete, if you had any thoughts on that particular area as well, um, just, I guess, putting you on the spot, any areas for, that you think that we could improve uh, on that? I agree with Liam. I think, um, you know, leadership does definitely plays a big role in, in how we kind of um, improve or, or amplify um, people in the business to to take on those leadership type positions um, and, and I guess share the diversity, um, inclusion, belonging um, mantra across you know, the leadership um, level at the leadership level. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you for sharing that. So I guess let me just have a look. I don't see any questions here um are there any sort of you know given the last sort of three or four minutes any final comments any of you would like to make or um yeah and anything that comes to mind in addition to the comments you've shared so far sure i'm happy to just um mention that you know we have our tmrgs um but they're not full and final so you know if you do join gitlab and you don't see yourself represented in one of the TR tmrgs that are already here you know you have the ability to create a new one and and get support and guidance on that so don't think that just because it isn't already created that you you're not you're not welcome and you're not represented here i'm 100 percent um um more than, more than happy to, to to start those groups off perfect i love that I think that's a great way to end. So um, yeah, thank you very much, everyone. It was great to hear your thoughts and have this conversation and hopefully um, it's helped uh, people who've attended today. Have a good day. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.